Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. President Trump releases Friday fireballs, hits Comey and Pelosi in their safe spaces. Our ever transparent president was up early this Friday morning. Apparently, he is getting a kick out of disgraced James Comey running around the country trying to peddle a tell-all book. POTUS tweets about Comey and Pelosi. Furthermore, these tweets are priceless. You will love them. However, the legal ramifications for Comey are becoming more and more serious as Comey is under fire by 11 lawmakers who have asked for him to be investigated. Additionally, on his first day of the book tour, Laura Loomer confronts the disgraced former FBI director. President Trump lobs several fireballs at him and Pelosi too. President Trump has Comey squarely in his crosshairs. POTUS first tweets last evening, James Comey just threw Andrew McCabe under the bus. Inspector General's report on McCabe is a disaster for both of them. Getting a little, lot, of their own medicine? Perhaps, it is time for Comey to lawyer up. Then POTUS tweets what we all want to know, will the witch hunt end, soon? Pray Trump tweets, James Comey memos just out and show clearly that there was no collusion and no obstruction. Also, he leaked classified information. Wow. Will the witch hunt continue? If you would like to see the witch hunt end, we need to band together and call the DOJ and tell them to cut Mueller off. Furthermore, we are tired of the incessant attacks on the President of the United States. Moreover, President Trump brings up the true tragedy of the corrupt Obama era FBI and DOJ and what it has done to people's lives. He tweets early this morning, so General Michael Flynn's life can be totally destroyed while shady James Comey can leak and lie and make lots of money from a third-rate book that should never have been written. Is that really the way life in America is supposed to work? I don't think so. Then the president tweets about the Democratic House Minority Speaker from California. He adds, Nancy Pelosi is going absolutely crazy about the big tax cuts given to the American people by the Republicans, got not one Democrat vote. Here's a choice. They want to end them and raise your taxes substantially. Republicans are working on making them permanent and more cuts. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.